In this interesting video, we will see how to manage uh, remnants of the cataract or the cortex on the posterior capsule, especially when you are not very uh, adept at using the cap vac mode. Now, the trick here is to actually dip the scleral wound or dip the wound and move the 27 gauge needle fixed onto a 5 cc syringe and the fluid hitting the posterior capsule between 30 to 40 degrees and make sure as you're pushing the fluid you dip the wound the idea or the genesis for this was when i saw some videos of the water jet being used to clean hard surfaces with bad stains the same thing is employed in car wash systems so i decided to use this and to my surprise it's very useful you will notice there we dip the wound making sure that whatever fluid is entering the eye is also exiting at the same time. Here, another case, you will notice that we dip the wound to make sure that the fluid keeps exiting and the needle is moved from side to side while depressing the wound and the fluid is hitting the posterior capsule at approximately 30 to 40 degrees. Make sure not to increase the angle of the needle Otherwise, you may cause a lot of pressure onto the posterior capsule and create a posterior capsular rent. Now, here is another stubborn central plaque in a case where multifocal is going to be explanted. A lot of patients would have these residual cortical fibers on the posterior capsule. The option available is either doing a irrigation aspiration on a cap pack mode, but that can be tricky in some situations. Now, this is a very, very stubborn plaque in a traumatic uh, case of traumatic cataract and you will notice we use the same technique of pushing a constant flow of fluid to make sure that this plaque is dislodged and cleaned beautifully. Once again a reminder as we are doing this the wound has to be depressed so that to allow the fluid coming out. Now what if you put the IOL in? In that situation rotate the IOL perpendicular to your point of entry of the needle the loop should be pacing on the opposite side. Dip the scleral wound and now inject the fluid between the IOL and the capsule, posterior capsule. And once again, you will see a beautiful polishing of the posterior capsule. Especially in cases where you're using a multifocal lens, this is a very, very good technique. Otherwise, this will actually influence the visual outcome of the patient even within first few days of post-operative period. Now you will see more cases where an IOL is already there and the plaque needs to be polished or these fibers needs to be polished. You go with the needle, which is a blunt tip needle behind the IOL, dip the scleral wound and give small jets of fluid between the IOL and the posterior capsule, thus ensuring the viscoelastic is also being removed and also the cortical fibers which were stuck there on the posterior capsule between the capsule and the IOL. This is another case where there's a lot of restrained uh, intraocular pressure and there is some residual viscoelastic and cortical fibers. This was a patient who was squeezing very hard. So doing an irrigation aspiration also to remove the viscoelastic was tricky. So we employed this technique and it works beautifully in our hands. Thank you.